Welcome to My Favorite Bitch, where we talk openly about the good, the bad, and the oh my fucking god ugly of raising dogs, and sometimes other non-canine pets, including the human ones. We might talk about poop, and we might swear, so fair warning. Thanks for joining the pack, now let's get this ball rolling. For a game of fetch, of course. Hey everybody, welcome to My Favorite Bitch. This is the podcast where we share honest tales about the good, the bad, and the, I'm just going to get a turtle ugly, of raising dogs and other pets. I'm your host, Beth Ann Campbell, and today, get ready folks, take a deep breath, in, out, we're going to talk about poop. Yes, shit, turds, whatever you want to call it, we're going to talk about it today. So if getting up up close and personal with your shit is something that um, disturbs you, then maybe this isn't the podcast for you. But if like me, you're sort of fascinated and sometimes your dog world revolves around poop, well, then this could be quite exciting, quite exciting. So why am I talking about poop today? I'm sort of riffing. I normally will have an outline of things that I want to talk about, but today I just, it kind of struck me. I just turned on the, the camera and the microphone because poop was on my mind. And here's why. I was picking up my dog's, my dog Moxie's poop from the front yard, which is basically her, her, a very large uh, toilet for her. And I was struck. I was, I was thrilled. I was actually um, giddy, tickled pink by how perfect her poop was and has been for the last week or so. It was just wonderful, easy to pick up. It, you know, I got all of the residue by just kind of grabbing it. So what I do is I put the poop bag on my hand and I inside out and I grab the poop directly with the bag and then just turn it inside out. Bada bing, bada boom. It's all, it's all good. It's all done. And, um, and it was just perfect. It was perfect consistency. There was no residue on the grass and I could just uh, tie it up and throw it in the poop trash. And I was just thrilled because this has not not been the norm for Moxie. Since we've gotten her as a puppy, she's had intermittent uh, bouts with mud butt. Mud butt being um, anywhere from um, just kind of forming a poop shape, but still being very squishy to outright diarrhea. And as typical with labs, nothing's ever wrong. She still eats, she still shits, but she'll have you know, intermittent um, issues with her digestion. I don't know exactly why our previous lab, Ripley, was kind of the same way. I've heard people say, well, you know, labs do put a lot of shit in their mouth. And so, you know, sometimes their tummies can get a little sensitive. That's certainly true that they do put a lot of shit in their mouth. Um, I mean, check out my TikTok at the bean 67 my tiktok video of my retriever every fucking walk she's got something in her mouth well you know grub whatever um so she's she has intermittent issues with her poop now on my own lawn this doesn't bother me greatly it's a pain but you know i have a hose in the front i have a hose in the back if it if it gets smushed into the grass i just hose it off but it bothers me when we go for walks because then it becomes um, a cleaning issue. And as I've mentioned on other episodes, I have had four bag, four shit bag episodes on our walks. That's why I always carry a lot of um, poop bags with me. And, um, and of course that's embarrassing and it just takes a lot to get it cleaned up. And I don't like to leave residue because, you know, it's just people get weird about it. And um, even if they, even if they have somebody else mowing their lawn, you know, it's just the, I don't want people doing it on my lawn, so I'm not going to do it on their lawn. So, um, so I, I, I don't like it, and I don't know what it's from, and I don't think it's it, it's not a good thing when your dog is that young and has, pun intended, shitty poop. <laughs> so, um, so you know, there there are many reasons why it's important for your dog to have a, um, a good and proper bowel movements. And Moxie doesn't, and it's probably again um, all the stuff that she puts in her mouth. And and we we've we've discovered things that we think uh, contribute to the mud butt. 
uh, things like um, braided bully sticks. The regular bully sticks are fine, but the ones that are braided, I don't know. There's something different about them where they're just a little bit more um, not as tight so she can eat bigger chunks of them. And I think that um, interferes with some things, certain foods. And we are, we have been really bad with feeding her just about anything, N nothing that's lethal for her, but you know, we do feed table scraps. So we're really working on that right now. We're um, just kind of cutting that all off. Um, and when we do let her have people food, it's, you know, mild chicken, roasted chicken, um, bland people food. But for whatever reason, even when we've kind of been watching it, her poops have been kind of, kind of shitty. So um, along with, you know, not giving her crappy, um, wow, it's going to be a whole episode of shit puns that I'm not even going to be aware of. Um, so in addition to giving, not giving her crappy people food, which probably contributes and finding out what treats that she's eating that maybe aren't quite appropriate. Um, I've started using this stuff and this is, I don't get paid for this stuff, folks. I just like to share what works for me. So I have been using this stuff um, that I got on Amazon. And yes, I do use Amazon. Now, you folks out there who are like anti-Amazon, I get it. I get it. It's a big corporation. But here's the thing. If you don't like Amazon, that's fine. You don't shop there, but I'll guarantee you, you don't have as cool of shit as I do. You don't because you can't get it um, in your local area. That's why I shop Amazon. I don't shop Amazon because I hate my local people. I try local first, but I can't get the same kind of stuff in my local uh, establishments. So sometimes I go into Amazon every day um, or something like that. Anyway, so uh, I did a little research and I was looking for something to help with Moxie's poo. I just want it to be more normal. So if there's something going on down there, whether we cause it or whether it's just in her nature, um, I want to make it better. I don't want her to be in distress and I want her to have nice, nice poops and I don't want to have to be scraping smushy shit off of my neighbor's lawn because you know how it is listen you people who walk your dogs you know exactly how it is it doesn't matter if moxie shits in our yard five minutes before we go for a walk she will take a shit in one of the neighbor's yards it's like she plans it i mean you probably have kids like that too like they wait every rest stop that you stop on a trip they they shit right you know who you are Anyway, so um, on Amazon, I did a little research trying to find something that would help her with her gut health. And I found this stuff. It's from the brand Pet Honesty. It's called Super Pooper. It is a stool solidifier. And it's in, in I'm so old, I can't even read this. This is embarrassing if you're watching a video. Yes, I'm going to do this. It improves stool quality and firmness, helps with gas and odors, and supports digestive health. Um, so I give her every day three of these little nuggets. I'll even, um, for those of you on video, I'll show you. They're, they actually come in little, they look like little dog treats. And she actually likes these. There are very few um, medicinal or health things that Moxie will actually willingly eat. If I throw these in her bowl, because sometimes I, I put them in with her food and I mix her kibble with a little canned food, and sometimes I forget, so I throw them in after the fact, and she'll pick them out and eat them. She actually likes these. So um, again, this is super poop. It's called Super Pooper. So here you go, folks, if you're on video. If not, go to Amazon and look, um, do a search on Pet Honesty, one word, Pet Honesty, Super Pooper. Uh, and I'll tell you what, these are fucking miracles. I, you know, it's hard to say. I, 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 I um, just fall short of saying that this is the one, one hundred percent, the only reason why her shits are so perfect lately. But I do notice because it took me a while to get into the cadence of getting these to her every day consistently, and like with many things, consistency is key, right, Heidi Medina? You know who you are. Um, but consistency um, was not in my vocabulary for these. So I would forget a day here and there. And I would always notice that the day that I forgot would be the day that she'd get mud butt. So these have probiotics in them. Um, they have uh, uh, digestive enzymes. I'm looking here and putting my glasses down. So um, it's, that's kind of embarrassing. Veterinarian re recommended, which you never know with uh, Amazon. I do, I do do my research. I do do. See, I told you, do do. I do do my research. 
whew, it's like there are so many shit words out there that we take for granted. We use every day or phrases. Anyway, Super Pooper um, has done a great job. So even though I'm not ready to say 100% it's just this because we have modified giving her people food and we've taken a couple of types of treats out. But I'm telling you, I think I think this stuff is is the real deal and it's really helping because like I said, even before we identified the treats and we were still feeding a lot of people food, when I would give her these, her poops would be a lot better. So if you're out there and you have a dog that maybe has chronic mud butt, maybe um, squishy poop, I'd try it. Try something or try something similar. Get some probiotics, some digestive aids and um, and see if it works. So of course, do your research. Ask your vet, right? And I want you to just go, I'm not a vet. So as I've um, said before, you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult the professionals in your life. But um, if your vet does not oppose, maybe try some some of this type of stuff. Super Pooper by Pet Honesty. It works like a dream. I'm telling you, I just ordered another bo- a bottle of it or whatever you call this jar. Um, I'm sold because if I can go out to my yard and pick up poop and it's it's firm and it doesn't leave a residue that I have to scrape off. It, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'll I'll pay a premium for that. So, um, I'm sure there are other things. Hey, folks, those of you who have had dogs with digestive issues, why don't you let me know what else you're doing? Because hey, maybe I want to um, look into that stuff too. So, drop me a line. Um, look me up on LinkedIn, Beth Ann Campbell. Look me up on. Um, TikTok now. I'm I'm going on TikTok. I'm on uh Instagram and Facebook, the bean67 on all of those. The bean with two N's, T-H-E-B-E-A-N-N, six seven. It's an a- the bean is an anagram of Beth Ann, if you must know. Uh look me up and let me know what you're using. What what experience have you had with kind of squishy poop or diarrhea? And what have you what have you done? Now, I know some of you will probably say that you've done um, pumpkin and sweet potato, and we did that too. It didn't really seem to help. Um, she's not a fan of pumpkin, Moxie, but she loves sweet potato. So I do if I gave her some today, and in, in fact, and I like sweet potato too. You should try it with with scrambled eggs. I know that sounds gross to some people, but sweet potatoes with a little tiny bit of butter and then scrambled eggs with the salt. Mm, it's just a great combination so you should try it um but just give your dog some of the plain sweet potato um but it, for us it didn't really help a whole lot um when we did that um gave her sweet potato so i just do it because she likes it and it's um you know it's a vegetable sort of so anyways i'll drop me a line or um look me up and let me know what you're using when your dog has some digestive issues Thanks so much for listening to this poop. This is but but one of many poop conversations that we're going to have because there are so many. I haven't even told you the story of the everlasting gobstopper that I pulled out of my last dog's sh- anus. So we'll we'll save that for next time. All right, folks, now get out there, take a walk, take a nap in a nice, s- nice warm spot if you can find one these days. It's getting cold. Um, or, I don't know, go play some fetch and take it easy. Thank you for joining My Favorite Bitch, where we don't hold back about what it's like to raise that little fucker of a pet. We hope you had fun. I'm your host, Beth Ann Campbell, and you can reach me on Instagram or Facebook as TheBean67, that's T-H-E-B-E-A-N-N-6-7, and also on Instagram as Moxie Blue Yule. that's my dog's site, she insisted. I'm also on LinkedIn as Beth Ann Campbell, that's Ann with an E, and check out my YouTube channel, Beth Ann Campbell, where you can find this podcast and other fun videos on the playlist, My Favorite Bitch. Remember, we are not trained dog professionals in any way, so please consult the real experts and do your research on anything you hear on this program. We barely know what we're doing. Now go give your pet some snuggles, and we'll catch you after a good nap and some tasty treats. My Favorite Bitch is produced by Beth Ann Campbell and is a product of Beth Ann Campbell, LLC, all rights reserved. Go fetch Moxie. Good girl.